Hello, hi, it's Liz here and today I'm back with my concertina journal. Um, I added a few chunky beads to the ends of the sari ribbon and um, yeah, I thought they were a nice addition. Just uh, fed them through and tied a, a knot at the end, really easy. So the last time we were here with this journal, um, we decorated the this side of the flips. Um, yep, ready for some entries. I've already got a few entries in the journal. Um, so we decorated, added some pockets, some tags and um, some clusters and a few bits of collage. So it's turning out really nice, I think, getting a little bit chunky. And I thought I would come back today and do the other side. I nearly gave one of my subscribers a fright when I almost the last time glued down the back, which meant I wouldn't be able to get to the other side. But, you know, <laughs> all was saved. Um, before it was glued down, I realised. Um, and I want to make a few entries because I've got a few things here that uh, that we've been to um, eat here. I want to put this somewhere because it's 1507 and 1507 and I thought that was quite quirky for a parking. And a little, uh, by chance, a concertina um, leaflet of the place that we were at. So. I've got a few entries to make, but I thought before I do that, that can be another day, I would decorate um, this side, the back um, of the journal. There's quite a few pages that could be doing with something on. So I have gathered my pre-made pieces that were done in the mass makes, so we'll hopefully get to use up some of them. I have also refilled my little tray um, of things that I might use today because uh, I found this to be easier than having all, all my pieces, boxes of ephemera out. Just pick out a few and, um, and just use them rather than hunt through lots and lots of stuff. So I have picked out a few pieces. Uh, I want to use up as well these modern pieces because I have these, lots of this kind of thing left over from my Simple Stories scrapbooking days and um, I would like to use some of that up and there's also just some cards here, um, some little bits and bobs, some tickets and some sayings, some bits and pieces. So hopefully we'll get to use some of that as well. And of course, I always have my scrap box as uh, too. So plenty scraps to use up and plenty bits on pieces. I also have this and I want to use a piece of this somewhere, maybe, if it fits in. This uh, is quite amusing. It's a farrow and ball paint chart. But what's amusing about this is the names of the paint. <laughs> I don't know if you're familiar with Farrow and Ball. Um, it's a kind of specialist paint company in the UK. I don't know if it's elsewhere in the world, but um, like this mousey's back. Now, how do they know that that's the colour of a mousey's back? Well, I suppose you've seen a mouse, so you know that that's the colour. But it's things that it's, in fact, this here. Mole's breath. And yet somehow, yeah, that is the colour you would imagine if you thought of a mole's breath. There's pigeon. <laughs> There's, let's see, what else is that? Elephant's breath. Because yeah, an elephant's breath, breath would be pale grey, wouldn't it? <laughs> Sulking room pink. This one makes me laugh because um, my, my late mum always used to say if somebody was sleeping on the couch or the spare room that they're, they're, that they're in the sulking room. 
<laughs> because they've fallen out or something. <laughs> and that made me laugh that there is an actual paint called Sulking Room Pink. So maybe we'll use some of that. There's ra radish. There's Eating Room Red. Pale Hound. <laughs> I think some of these... These, um, yeah, mizzle, I mean, oh, oh, mizzle, I don't, I don't know if that's even a word. <laughs> dead salmon, because that would be the colour of a dead salmon. Anyway, enough of that, we'll maybe put some of that in the book. Right, so let's get started. We've got this first, first page, which is the page that you come to. So we've got a cluster here, so maybe just something in the corner here so that when it gets opened out, it'll look like it matches this page here. So we'll maybe put something. Let's get the tree. That was a pre-made thing. So that sort of goes because there's pink in this shell here. Hmm. Too big. Let's see, here's a nice pink pink flower that might be quite nice somewhere. And there's a pink what's this here? It's good fun to play around with these little bits. That's quite good. Maybe that would just be enough there. That's quite good. Moments and places and you get to still see the shell there. Oh, sorry for the banging that. Okay, I think we'll go for a little bit of collage in the corner there. Let me get my magazine. And we'll glue things down. Just using my glue stick as usual. So, we were at my sister-in-law's garden last night so it was my two sister-in-laws and my sister-in-law's partner so I and they've been telling me that they watch the videos so I have to give them a name check so <laughs> hello <laughs> Ellen Brian and Elizabeth we had a lovely time last night, a good blather. We got fish and chips, so that's quite good. In that wee corner there, we use a little space here. So we can now do this page. Let's just open it like that and that keeps it nice and flat. So this is a nice plain page that we can do plenty on. So let's think. That would be quite good and that would just fill up that whole side and then we'll maybe just do something in the corner here so yeah so we had um fish fish and chips from the phoned in from the chippy shop that's quite good Let's see, what else have we got? I'm thinking that will do that nicely. Yeah, easy. That one, that one came together quite easy. wonder if this is a sticker. I don't think it is. Oh, yes, it is. See, look at that. So 
yeah, so that was nice to see them and have a nice catch up. A nice wee blather outside and I we were worried before we went that there would be wasps because there's food about and and so we were concerned for Millie and the wasps but there wasn't any wasps so that was really good. That matches nice. There's a little bit of blue picking up that there. And we'll just stick this whole bit down. That was a cluster that was made in the mass makes. There's a video for that. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. So, this one. Oh, there's quite a lot already on that. I'm wondering if we should leave that page. I think we might leave that one. Do something here. There's butterflies here, so I think I have a butterfly. One of them maybe. And then something that it can sit on. No, there's the modern ones. Hmm. I don't know where do they go? don't think so. Let's see. Here's a, a tag that... Oh, that's quite good. Mm -hmm. Something else to be layered up. Here's a nice leaf. Yep. And maybe something else. What have we got? Know what that is? Is that a bingo card? I think that will do it. And it's quite busy there. It's quite busy. I wonder if we could just put a pocket and just clip it on so that we can take it off and maybe put. I wonder if once we decorate that, it will go in there. Yeah, if we keep everything. Now there's the other butterfly narrow. No, not really, not by much. Maybe we'll just put that and that. And we'll put the butterfly over there. I think we will. I think we'll just decorate one of them and use that. And we'll just put the pocket on. Here, and then put the tag inside. Okay, so we'll decorate the tag. So 
but we're going through a lovely spell of weather again. That's why we were at Ellen's garden last night. Nice spell of weather. So I think this afternoon we'll maybe go down the coast, down to the beach. Go for a walk. Enjoy the sun while it while it's here. I don't think it will be here much longer. Oh, I'm really sticky. Yeah, I wonder if we want something else, a wee flower or something, just to finish that one off. Okay, let's decide between the yellow and the blue. Well, I quite like the blue. Yeah, good. And that can go in there. And then we'll put, I think, this one over here. Now, do we want something else behind it to make it stand out a little bit? And something that will match this. Here's, here's another leaf. Mm-hmm. It's a green leaf. No, it's going the other way. No, I think we'll start stick with that. Stick with just the this are here. Oh, I quite like that. Yes. So, a tag. I want to cover up these, um, I think that's quite creepy. <laughs> I'm not keen on these dolls that look like that. Mm. <laughs> it's a bit creepy. And then that, just across like that. Nice bit of collage and then the butterfly, of course. Perfect. We'll put it down a bit. Yeah, about there. There we are. Good. So, oh, another another page like this. Let me just open this up. Oh, which way are we going? Right, now I'm confused. Right. Because I want more pages. That's better. Keep it flat. Right, so something here. What have we got? There's a, an envelope. That might be quite nice. Hmm, I 
I've got another one of these long ones. Oh my goodness, so many, so many choices, that's quite good. I think I might put that there and that there. Okay, let's do that, they go quite well. And that's easy, pre-made ones. Just have that sticking out a little bit. And this. Tags out the top there. Yes, that's better. There we are. So now I'm in a fankle. Right, that's it. So where are we at? We've done that. We left that one. We did that one. And we've just done that one. Okay. Ooh, quite a few left to do. Right. I'm thinking maybe a little bit up in the corners here. And then that can be left plain for the for the journaling spot. Now what have we not used? We haven't used any of this this stuff here. Let's have a play around. Be forever who you are. That's quite good. And there's a little bit of something that we could take chances. This life. Never lose your sense of wonder. Now we've got two sayings. We've got a saying already. So let's just quite like that. Extraordinary, but is it too it's too long? I feel as if that really wants to pop into something. So let's see if we've got a pocket. Or will it fit in the envelope? Well, it fits in an envelope. So we can put an envelope. Hmm. I'd rather have a pocket. Let's see. Should be pockets in here. Have I used all my pockets? No, oh, here's here they are. So we can do this. Yeah. Yep. And then maybe something over here. What else have we got? What 
that's quite good. That's this one. This one. And what have I got in this little bundle? Here's a nice green. Although we were going to leave that bit blank, weren't we? So we maybe want something smaller. Oh, well that's quite cute. I'm thinking that and then that. Go for that, it's a little bit shiny, but that's okay. Right, so we'll get this. Whoops, get this stuck down. Now I know these are two stickers, I think. I'm trying to rub my gl the glue off my fingers at the same time as getting the back off the sticker. <laughs> and we'll plonk that down there. And then little cutie. Oh, and I haven't put any of my paint swatches on yet. Need to think about them. There we are. Now that might be a good place for the paint swatches. Let's put something here. Maybe another cluster. It's a bit of yellowy mustard there. So one might go nicely there. That's an easy one. So here's a yellowy tag. I think I might do that. Just Oh, here's tags with birds and doilies. Oh, yes. Let's use him. That's a good one. And I know tags would normally just get stuck, in, uh, put in a pocket or something, but I'm just going to stick that one down just as a, a piece of decoration rather than a tag. There's no rules, as they say. And that means there's a little bit of frivolity sticking up the top, sticking out the top. I think we'll just leave that because that picks up that colour there. Yeah, good. Okay, right, the paint swatches. What else have we got? Oh, we've not much to do. Right, the paint swatches. Let's see, how are we going to pick up maybe the blues? Mm -hmm. 
Right, let's just get this going to tear. Not really. Let me get the ruler. Better than that sheet. I quite like the tail. Oh, back up onto my chair. I'm sliding off. <laughs> right, let's see. I think this bottom half here. Whoops, yeah, it doesn't matter. I might quite want that actually. There we are. Okay, so we've got <laughs> is that Colk, Calc, Green, Stone Blue, Denim's, Bansha, Enchira Blue, and Arsenic. Arsenic, <laughs> and they've got their names too. In fact, look, there's absinthe. So, so it sort of ties in, doesn't it? wonder if... Oh, no, now, I'm going to be covering their names. Doesn't matter, does it? I wonder if I want it to cover the paint. Or the names. Hmm. The paint or the names. I wonder if maybe just one row. Right, I'm going to go down the middle and do just one row. Because then you can sort of see that they've named Is that too matchy? Putting one. It's a big decision, you know. <laughs> I'm thinking that. I'm thinking that and something else. And here's a piece from the actual book. That's quite good. And then just something, something here. I forgot. It's a bit random, isn't it? Hmm, I don't really want a shiny sticker. Something. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's a, a little teal flower. Do you know? I think I'll go for that. Yeah. Okay. It's down first. And then the, the paint. Look, there's writing on the back, it describes sophisticated white, chameleon colour needs no other name. It's exactly what it says, green-blue. 
a smoky green blue, was popular in interiors during the late 19th century. So it tells you a wee bit about the why the colours been named that colour. It's quite interesting. And it was quite handy because the shop it's not a big DIY shop, it's just a small little shop that only sells their paint and doesn't sell anything else, it just sells Faro and Ball paint. And so they had a table outside with um, the obligatory hand sanitizer and whatnot, and also the paint, um, those things, what are they called? Swatches, paint leaflets, colour charts. The colour charts, that's it, it came to me. Yeah, I quite like that one. Yep. Uh, so we didn't even need to go into the shop to scrounge. I think we would have given anyway. Now, this, I quite like that the way it is. I think I might leave that one just now. And this one's quite plain. And then, oh, there's another paint one. So we can use up some more of the paint. Let's do something here. What have we got? Here's a nice big tag. Maybe too big. I wonder if we want a wee specimen card just there. Yeah, we've not used one of them yet. Right, let's see which one. I just picked out the first one that came to there. Where are they? Here they're here. Let's maybe pick out. Yes, the brighter colour's quite nice. Quite like that one for some reason. This brown one, beige brown one. It's, yes, this one I think. How handy has it been having these mass makes? I'll need to be doing more. I've got um, one up my sleeve, which is nearly, I'm nearly ready to make the, the video, um, which is labels, making all sorts of nice labels. I got some, a label stamp. Um, so I'll be stamping out and decorating some labels in a, a future video. That's quite cool there, isn't it? Right, the power of paint, and then there's that. Right, what else is on the paint chart? Maybe have to have another look at the colours. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I'll need to have a wee drink. <coughs> Right, let's see what we can put. That's quite good because it's standard typewriter and that's typewritten. And there's a little bit of nonsense. I need to fold this back. some of the, the pages so that it's even up, that's better. Otherwise everything was sliding off. <laughs> and have we got another wee modern piece that would... No, <laughs> too modern. What else have we got? We've got a, 
that might be quite nice. Go up. Uh -huh. Right, let's see if we can do something with I think that little collage is quite nice. Yeah. Go with that. Okay. It's down first. So I'm looking forward to making some more entries in this. We've been to a few places. Get them recorded. Get the day on. I think this is a sticker. Get the date on, make sure we we know where we've been when we when we went. <laughs> so that was gonna go just overlapping there and then was that next and then that yes. So we'll be watching another Bond at the weekend. This is, what day is this? Thursday. We watch Bonds on a Saturday afternoon usually or Sunday afternoon. I, don't, I can't remember which one's next. Whatever one's after Thunderball. I can't remember which one's next. We'll be about there. Okay, just a little bit of what not in the corner and paint. Right, where's the paint? Let's get the tree out of the way. Bring the paint back in. What have we got? Hmm. These ones. We've got sulking room. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I like sulking room. Right, what did we do the last time? And let's try and do something different. Where is the paint? There's the paint there. So we collaged it up a little bit on the other side. We'll just put it there this time and maybe get something, something. Now I've got Do it. So this down first. 
And I think after this there might just be one page left. This is going to turn out quite a long video, which is fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> there we are. Oh, I think I'll need to use a new page in my my glue book. It's starting to stick. There we are. Turn that. Now, what do we think about just that randomly over there? I think it's quite good. It adds a little bit of contrast and a little pop. Just in the corner there. There we are. Yes, and that's the back now. Yep. So back page which is actually quite nice and I'm not sure that I want to do too much to this I don't want to cover that I think that uh, script there is pretty good I'm wondering if we should just maybe add the tiniest homemade happiness a little bit too long but we could cut it down that says sweet sweet homemade happiness and here's a nice a nice girly She's a bit bolder. Do we want bold or do we want muted? I think we want bold. Here's lead with your heart. I quite fancy on the last page to put a radiate positive vibes. That's quite good. We'll put something paler behind it. I wasn't going to colour up too much of this and here I'm putting, putting things on it. That's quite good. I think we'll go with that. That, 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 and that. <laughs> that, and that, and that, and that. There we are. And I think this is the last one. You'll be pleased to know. <laughs> You'll be fed up. Will it go? Hurry up, finish. Stop faffing. <laughs> right, this is a sticker. So we'll just get the back off of that, hopefully. There we are. And then this, what that says, perfumery, Paris, I think we'll, we've been to Paris a few times, I think once everything's reasonably okay and everybody's going to be safe, we'll, I think we'll take a wee jaunt to Paris again, it's been a while. There 
like that. Maybe positive vibes. Well, that's what we try to do. <laughs> and I think that's that's us at the end. Yep, that's the back page. Let's um, see how this. Oh wow! Right, there's a an envelope not doing its thing. There we are, and. Is that me right? I think so. Well, it's gotten a little bit chunky. Right, let's have a little look, see what we did today. Let's tidy up a bit. There we are. Just push everything to the side and we can have a look at the concertina journal. So, I don't think we're there. Right, it's front. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, because I've made my entries, the first entries are here. And then it just goes on to decoration. So and that's a tag there. And a quick flip through the front because this is in a previous video. And then a quick. This is what we did today. And a tag there. A little bit of collage there. That was pre-made ones. A pre-made one with a nice saying in it there. A little bit of collage. Nice tag there. There's still plenty of writing room. Painty page. We left that one. The specimen card. We left bits there. We did a little collage there. Another painty page. And the final page with a nice saying. Yeah, and a little bit of collage. So that's it. The next time you see it, we'll make a little entry in it. And uh, or two or three, <laughs> and um, yeah, so thanks for joining me today. That was a bit of a marathon. And um, if you enjoyed the video, a thumbs up. And till the next time, take care. Bye for now.